President Obama, it's time for you to stop the flights coming in from West Africa. Why are you putting our country in danger? Stop the flights now. No one, and I mean no one, should be allowed to enter the United States from any West African nation ravaged by Ebola. The United States is now a giant dumpster for the Ebola virus. African dictators and nations around the Ebola plague nations don't permit them to travel to their countries. Ipso facto, third world African dictators have more common sense than Barack Ebola. Also, U.S. immigration should allow no one, no one, to enter this country holding a passport from any West African nation. Here's what we know about Ebola, that it is not like the flu, it is not airborne. The only way that a person can contract Ebola is by coming into direct contact with the bodily fluids. Somebody who is showing symptoms. I'm legally blind. When we speed up the video of the woman, we notice her eyes are blinking much faster than usual. Whenever you insert a DVD into the driver, or you plug in a USB drive, you'll notice a blinking light as the computer reads the data. Fast and convinced and bringing more transmission. Now back to the power of the moment at the relative position, the importance of the event for the last to be defined. For example, X as a living android. A synthetic man as a machine, a transmitter receiver much like a mobile phone. A synthetic device is employed at times of influence. This is a high profile press conference and a good place to insert an android's influence. Influencing society without society realizing it.